good day. It's Tony Fortune now from the technology firm. Today we're going to take a look at a wireless trace file using Wireshark. So a little background information. Customer was telling me that customers are being uh, disconnected intermittently from their wireless network. They don't quite know why. Um, showed up to poke around. Oh, oh yes, and the uh, customer also said that their Cisco Wireline controller logs um, have some uh, notes upon containment issues so they weren't quite sure how to go about resolving that. So I showed up with um, my air magnet Wi-Fi analyzer captured a bunch of packets uh, the Wi-Fi analyzer uh, wasn't really telling me too much yet as far as it was concerned everything was okay nothing really out of the ordinary as far as this containment issue goes so I thought okay let me take the packets maybe take it into Wireshark and, and I'll uh, play around in there since I'm more comfortable with Wireshark uh, than I am with the Air Magnet Wi-Fi Analyzer. So here we are. Got all my packets here. I want to show you what I did to poke around and then I'll explain what I found. First thing I wanted to do was figure out uh, what packets were... <laughs> it's alright. Thanks. Thanks Microsoft. So basically I wanted to find out uh, what packets are related to the SSID. In this case, Bel Paso. So best way to do that if you do a uh, find control F and I was to type bell pass so and then click string and then click details when it finds it what it's going to do is highlight where that is in the detail pane but unfortunately we don't have that up so let's go a step further here view packet details and now you can see where it highlighted it for you why do I want to do that because now I can highlight the actual field here and you'll see when you do that there's a field name and I can just right click Apply as filter, selected, and now it's going to filter out all the packets that relate to this SSID Bel Paso, kind of helping to reduce uh, the packets you have to go through because right now we've got 225,000 to go through. It would be nice to kind of whittle that down to less than that. We're down 8,724. And you can see here you got Cisco, Cisco, Cisco. And as you go through them all, you're saying, okay, now what do I do? There's a whole bunch more. Well, what other packets do access points send? Well, probe responses. So if I was to come over here, and, and there's a few ways to do this. I'm going to do this the long way. Here's probe response. I'm going to just manually click through here, and there's probe response. So I want to add to my filter here. I'm going to right click, apply as filter, and selected. So now we get an AND filter. We have it for the Bel Paso SSID, and we have it only for those probe responses which typically come from access points. So now we've got it down to hopefully less, 3,000 packets. So now what do you do? Well you can keep whittling this down. The next uh, thing we could do is start removing all the Cisco MAC addresses because that's what the customer has um, and see what's left. The other thing I'd like to do real quick is just sort by the MAC address. So if I click on that source header it's resorting the entire trace file. So instead of being sorted by the frame number it's going to be sorted by the MAC address, just so it can kind of jump out a little quicker at me. Uh, Cisco, obviously the customer has Cisco, so I can kind of ignore those. Unless another Cisco system was interfering, then I would note the MAC addresses. But I just want to quickly see if there's anything that jumps out at me. So as I move up, Cisco, 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 Cisco. So this is where your brain starts to melt in our field, if you don't find what you're looking for. And oh, what was that? Aruba Net. I asked the customer if they have Aruba. They said no. Well, unfortunately, they're one of many tenants in an office building, so I had to walk around. I went down a couple of floors, up a couple of floors, did find the customer who does have Aruba. It was a newly installed system just a few months ago, and they have some sort of security or containment feature enabled. I'm not Aruba uh, aware, so I don't know the proper terminology. Spoke to their IT staff. We put um, the customer's SSID and APs in their friendly list, for lack of a better term. And there you go. Problem solved. So that's how I did it. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.